Hello, so in the last videos, we learned how to create orders and then create items for each order. So here we're going to learn how to display different data and edit items. So what's important about bubble is you can either have singular or plural things. So for example, current order of user is just one order. Uh, but here we have a list of orders. So this is in a repeating group. So the list of items of one order is in a repeating group, but the group is just one order. So when we want to click one item to edit it, we just need a group as it's just one item. So we create it, make a type item, and then we create an edit icon here in the repeating group so that any item we select we can edit. We add a workflow to this icon to now display data in the group items which we created and we want to show the current cells item so that if we click the first item we can see in the group below the first item to edit, the third item, the third item to edit. Here in this group to help us we can also of course add this type item refer to the item and say parent groups items name. And then we can click inputs to be able to edit it. The inputs can be the placeholders, can be the parent groups items name and the initial content. We also want the name and then we want to do the same for price and so copy pasting. But price is actually an integer, so I would put this here. And then I can actually, to show you kind of how Bubble works to some extent, we can also always show Pine Group's items creator, for instance, and actually show their date of birth, because creator is type user, so whenever an item is creator, created, the user will be remembered and linked. And this was not a text, so username would be a text, so we can show it. Okay, and then we need a button to make changes. And when we click that button, we want to update the item in the group. So make changes to thing as it's one item, parent group items. And we want the name to be the inputs value and the price to be the second inputs value. And then what we can also do is we can create a group, for example, kind of summing up the data of the current user. So we have type user, data source, current user. And in a text field, we could actually, for example, show a sum. We could show the parent group's users the current order, the list of items, and then their price, and the count of that, or the sum of that. So this kind of shows that you can link any type of things that you've linked in the database in a text field or a group, for example. So let's try this out. We see our current order is shopping on Monday. So let's click to show the items in that order. And now when we click toaster, for example, toaster, here's the name, we can change it to toaster large and we can change the price to 60. And the current sum of the prices of these three items is 38. When we make changes, it updates to 68 and it says toaster large up here. When we click bread and butter, and we increase the price to 10, again, uh, it would change to 76. And this kind of shows you how to edit and display different data in Bubble. Hope this helps. For a step-by-step -step list, check tipsister.com, link below, where you can also find lots of free Bubble tips you can filter through quickly. Hope this helps. Cheers.